calls for the chancellor at UC San Diego to step down are growing louder. Welcome to The Four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Another protest was held on campus today, days after police cleared out an encampment on campus. CBS 8's Kelly Hessett joins us live from UC San Diego with what the mood is like there right now. Kelly. Well, it's not just the protesters who say sending in law enforcement to break up that encampment on Monday uh, was wrong. Some faculty members and fellow students are denouncing it as well. So today's protest drew about a thousand people. Here's some of what we saw and heard. Free, free Palestine. Free, free And the protesters uh, gathered around noon near the heart of campus and marched for about an hour or so. Uh, the crowd was very large. Uh, some people carried signs. Campus police and security were both nearby uh, but did not intervene. Now, everything remained very peaceful. Outside Price Center uh, was where they gathered, calling on all charges to be dropped against the protesters who were arrested on Monday and calling on Chancellor Pradeep Kosla to step down. Now, they continue to demand the university cut ties with Israel and any companies doing business with Israel or profiting from the war in Gaza. Uh, we spoke to one of the protesters who says she is a student at UC San Diego. Uh, you're going to hear from her first and then from a faculty member who both say sending law enforcement in to break up that encampment was a mistake. It was absolutely abhorrent, disgusting, and upsetting seeing the amount of police force that we, the students, were met with when we have shown absolutely no instance of violence. I think the encampment was uh, peaceful. It was one of the most beautiful cultural spaces I've ever seen at UCSD. There were people of all kinds. There was programming, movie showings, teach-ins. It was a really liberated space of all types. And to shut that down with massive police force is a disgrace. And we are also hearing from school administrators today. They sent us a photo of a sword they say was found in the encampment after law enforcement moved in. Uh, they say there were also propane tanks, propane cooking stoves found, power supplies, uh, which are all fire code violations. So back out here live, the school also uh, said again today they fully uh, support uh, people protesting, peacefully protesting. They were fine with the protest that was out here today, but they say they also must uh, maintain safety here on campus as well. Heather and Carlo. Kelly, what happens next here? Where, where do we go from here? Well, I can tell you that the students are now probably more committed than ever to pushing for their cause. Uh, today, uh, Sacramento State announced that it will not be making any investments in companies that profit from genocide or violate human rights. Now, this comes after students there had been protesting for more than a week. Those protesters were able to meet with administrators to have some of their demands met. Uh, so you can imagine uh, this does motivate some of the students here. Uh, what happens next? We're just going to have to wait and see. Kelly Hassadal reporting live from UC San Diego, where protests continue. Kelly, thanks.